Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly episode and I have some stuff to share with you, as usual. So, uh, let's get right into it. This is probably going to be a quick one. Uh, we'll see. Alright, so, bam! Ultra Red. I just posted this to my Instagram uh, yesterday. I just got it in the mail. Uh, shoot, you know what? I forgot to write down the Instagrammer's name, but Thank you very, very much. I think his name's Lee. Uh, but anyway, if you uh, check out my Instagram, you'll see who I got this from. So it gave me a really good deal on it, and it's another Ultra Red off of the list, which I think now technically I'm like complete on this set. I just don't have the other two uh, cars in my possession, but uh, there's a Ford F-150 that I'm getting from a buddy of mine here locally, and then there is a or JC Custom Diecast is what his name is. I don't know if he's on Instagram, really. Posts a lot on Facebook. And then um, the, what is it, the Impala? Yeah, the Impala. I've got that coming from uh, my buddy Shresh. So I think that's it. That's all I need. So we'll open this up, though, take a peek at it, as well as, of course, open up the two regulars, which I have not opened up. I haven't even seen this casting out of the package yet, so I'm pretty excited for that. So stay tuned. We will definitely take a look at those three cars. Um, let's see here. I got one item I got in the mail, unfortunately, came damaged, and I had to ship it back, which is uh, very unfortunate. Fortunate. Uh, the seller was kind of a jerk about it, too. So... Um, and it was not packaged well. When you ship stuff on eBay, even if you're shipping loose cars, this was a um, Malibu Diecast 164 scale uh, Range Rover, and um, it was a really sweet car. I've been actually looking for it at a cheap price for a while, and I was excited to find it. And then when I got it, whatever held in the back axle actually was busted, and uh, so it just didn't sit right, and the wheel rubbed and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, but anyway, he packed it in just like this small, like barely padded envelope, and it's just not a way to do it. So don't do that if you're shipping eBay cars. Pack things in boxes. It's really, I mean, the buyer's paying for shipping anyway, and I was paying for shipping anyway. So it's like, why would you pack it in a bag anyway? So I don't have that to show you, but I do have one one eBay purchase to show you. I found this on eBay. This popped up, buy it now for a very inexpensive price compared to what I usually see this thing go for when I see it. And this is the really, really cool Murcielago Roadster Lamborghini Auto Art 164 scale. And yes, you better believe we are going to take this bad boy out of the box in the second segment of the video. So stay tuned for that fun. Um, the rest of the stuff I got from my buddy. Oh, no. One other thing. This. Picked up this. Well, I got this from Dicastrum. Uh, he did an order uh, through a hobby dealer, and um, I told him just to throw this on there because I needed it. And uh, so he did for me and got this. So I got this in the mail, too. Thank you, Dicastrum, uh, for this. It's Greensboro Police Department. It's just cool. It's a Volkswagen Rabbit police car. Um, that's cool. We might open that that as well in the second segment. We'll see here. Um, and then I got some stuff from my buddy Crazy Todd, and that's the last of what I got. So I got um, Boulevard, the first wave of Boulevard, finally. Um, so I've got that now, which is great. So it's got the Chevy Silverado, the Skyline, the Volkswagen, the Bone Shaker, and the Camaro. You know, and we're probably, I don't think I'm going to do a separate video on these. I, I normally do. Well, I'm undecided at this point. We might open up these in the second segment and just call it that, uh, which is probably what we're going to do. We'll see here. And then he got, and then I got from him this uh, Super Treasure Hunt. I just really don't need this protector because it's going to get open. The Super Treasure Hunt Nissan Skyline GTR VNR32. This was our AK Super for 2020. So, got that. Pretty darn cool. Uh, we might pop that out of the package in the second segment. We'll see. Otherwise, it'll be a free the peace Friday episode. But just kind of see how things go. We'll go from there. Finally, check this one off. So now I'm current with Team Transport, uh, save for the current current release. That's I haven't you know I don't think popped in stores at all yet. So this was the last thing I needed here. This RWB Porsche. Thankfully, now I have it. That's awesome. Um, and then this Auto World. Night Under Fire John Force Peak Funny Car. Um, I've been staying away from getting these, even though these have like ultra reds and stuff. 
Um, I'm not counting them towards my, you know, my collection of 164 scale Auto World Premium cars. Uh, this kind of is in a different category for me along with the, the dragsters, so I'm not going after all these, mainly because I'm just not, I'm not that into them, but it's cool to get one example. And uh, so now I've got this, uh, this cool thing. And lastly, we've got uh, two Volkswagen Beetles. We've got a 1951 Project in Progress, Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, this is the version B. I think I already have the version A already. I hope that's the one I've got. Uh, man, and you know what? And it's put away. It's not on my wall anymore, so I cannot tell just by looking. So we might not open this up. We may open it up. I don't know. We'll see. And then uh, this one here, the 66 Volkswagen Beetle uh, from Classic Gold Johnny Lightning. Pretty cool there. Um, yeah, so let's just keep it moving. Let's go ahead and move on to the second segment of the video. We are going to open up some of this stuff. I'm not sure exactly what at this moment, but stay tuned to find out. All right, so let's kick off this second segment with this, some good old Auto World diecast. Uh, premium 164. So I'm stoked to finally check out uh, this tooling. Uh, the way I've been doing it with Auto World, I just haven't been opening the regular cars until I achieve ultra red completion and then I open up the other ones. So I haven't had a chance to really even look at this, to be honest, and uh, kind of excited for it. So we're going to start, of course, with version A in Chief Blue. You can go ahead and read that if you want to. This one's limited to 7516. And here it is. She rolls. That's cool. I don't know when we're going to see the next uh, series of Auto World. Um, I'm not sure with all this stuff that's going on, uh, what's going to happen with that, <clears throat> or how long it's going to take, but it uh, should be sometime soon, I think. So we got opening hood feature, of course, as we're used to with Auto World Premium cars. And we've got uh, painted details everywhere. Real deal spare tire on the back, which is awesome. Um, all metal casting, so the top is, is metal. Uh, the base, of course, is metal. Um, man, it's awesome, actually. The bumpers are metal, too. It feels like, anyway, or this plastic. I don't know. Man, they feel like they're metal. Uh, maybe they're not. Um, I'm not sure. So, this actually is really cool. I am not a huge Jeep fan, but yeah, winner. Awesome. Let's check out this one in black. Rubicon. And oh, this one looks great. It's got some fingerprints on it. Those aren't my fingerprints. I just didn't touch it there. Uh, let's see if we can wipe those off real quick. And looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good in black. I like it. Looks mean. I don't know if another version of this Jeep is in the next series. I don't think it is, actually. Um, I know there's another uh, Chevy Silverado coming out in that. And they're just putting out that tooling because people love it and you know this is no slouch either man the details on this are fantastic the wheels look great i mean everything about it it does look really good um like i said i'm not a jeep guy i know there's a lot of jeep people out there that really enjoy uh these jeeps i'm not one of them but i can definitely respect the well put together casting uh, from my favorite brand, Auto World, and I'm so excited to see the next stuff that's coming from them, which is absolutely fantastic. So next we get the Ultra Red. We're freeing the piece on that one, throwing the packaging in my little tin garbage can, and here we go. Here's the Ultra Red. Looks wonderful. Uh, you got ultra red base. You have a white interior. All the ultra reds in this series have white interiors, red bases, and ultra red body paint. And you know this Jeep looks pretty darn good in red. Um, just open the hood real quick. Nothing different in there. 
I'm always checking now because there's the Auto World's gotten sneaky and they put uh, white motors in one of the series, and I didn't realize it until I was doing a uh, full series review. So now I check, of course. Anyway, it looks awesome. Definitely digging it. Uh, looks like the spare the spare tire, uh, the printing on the back got a bit off center, which isn't a huge deal. It just kind of looks a little. Eh. My guess is. I actually do. Okay, we're not going to do that. I feel like I'm going to pull the whole tire off the back, and I don't want to do that. You might be able to just pop this tire off of this rim, though, and uh, replace it with one. Like, I could take the one off of one of the regular cars, because these would be easier to replace, obviously, if I really wanted to get nitpicky about the detail, and uh, switch that out for one that is uh, centered. Okay, well, I took it off. That's how the wheel sits in there, guys. It is removable. It is held on with what appears to be just a little bit of glue, and that's it. So it's legit. I mean, I could take a little bit of glue and just pop that back on there. So I did rip it off. But yeah, it just kind of sits in there. OK. So that tire is going to end up getting replaced. It will. Um, I'll end up replacing it with one that looks a little better probably just pop one of the back tires off of one of these and, and replace it we'll see all right so yeah i just broke an ultra red no i didn't really break it it's just uh it's the way it's held together there's by glue anyway so it's really legit to just glue it back together i will i'm used to kind of doing that nowadays buying a bunch of green light and stuff like that every once in a while you gotta fix something every once in a while you break something then you gotta fix something. All right, so this I'm pumped about, guys. This uh, Murcielago auto art piece. Uh, so there's not that many 164 scale auto art out there. And what is out there is actually quite difficult to come across at a reasonable price. I'm just taking a look at this. Oh, this is like a metal flake black. Interesting. All right, um, I thought it was just a gloss black. It's not. I think this has been taken off the base before. This is definitely wasn't sealed or anything like that. So there's a look at the base of the car. And here's a look at the car. So uh, interestingly, they do come in varying degrees of like, well, they're all really good quality, but some of the Auto World 164 scale cars actually have plastic tires. And this is one of those. It's got plastic tires. But I really don't care because you would never really be able to tell that by just looking at this thing from the side. But yeah, they're plastic. Again, don't care. It looks great. And we've got inserted details up front for headlights. I'm not sure. How, oh, inserted details for the taillights that look absolutely fantastic. Look at those. But anyway, if you can get your hands on some auto art 164 scale cars, like I said, they're kind of tough to come by, especially the more desirable cars. There's some other ones that are pretty easy to come by, but this would be one I would consider uh, pretty difficult. I don't, it does not come up very often. They're just made with a, a very, very high quality premium die cast. Um, and just look absolutely fantastic. So that is a definite welcome addition. Uh, to my collection. I think I've got a Google Sheet too of all the Auto World toolings that there are. So if anybody's, I guess, interested in that or wants to know uh, where to find that, um, go ahead and hit me up uh, via, via email, championdjk at gmail.com, and I'd be happy to accommodate you. So, but yeah, you know, that goes for anybody. If you have any questions, yeah, definitely about anything, go ahead and email me. It's fine. I'll, I'll try to answer, you know, in a timely fashion. The comments section of the videos aren't quite good for that. It's much easier if you just email me. Uh, but, yeah, pretty cool. That thing is beautiful. I love it. Glad to add it to the collection, definitely. All right. What should we open up next, guys? Should we just do... Uh, I don't want to do that super because I don't have the regular. Let's, let's just open up this real quick. RWB Porsche 930 Aero Lift with an Aero Lift. You guys have seen this already. Um, you know, it's been in stores for a while. I could have picked it up from stores, but I knew that 
Todd had grabbed one for these, grabbed one of these for me a while ago. So I was just waiting to be able to see him for a moment so he could drop some stuff off. And I got this from a safe distance, of course. Here is this thing, and wow, this thing actually is fantastic. You know, I've talked a little bit of smack about the uh, team transport set just because I don't want to collect the trucks. But dang, that's that's a cool car. I have not gotten my R RLC RWB Porsche yet, but I think I just got notification that it shipped, so I should see it soon. And oh man, this thing looks amazing in purple. It's really cool, and the truck's actually pretty cool too. This flatbed. So what else has come out on this truck? There's been a couple things, right? This isn't like the first one. Or is it? No, it's not. Uh, I think Dotson came out on that, like one of the Fair Lady Z's or Nissan Fair Lady Z. But yeah, anyway, really, really cool. Totally digging it. That's fantastic. All right. So there's that. What are we going to look at next? Let's, uh, why don't we pop open this Volkswagen Rabbit? Why not? Oh, we got to get a scissors. Honestly, I hate green light packaging. I don't like it at all. Here we go. So this is from Hot Pursuit. Hot Pursuit Series, like 100, Series 34. Um, Greensboro, North Carolina, Police Department. And here it is. So we got a little bit of a stance issue, which is uh, I think I think we do. And yeah, that back wheel. And there we go. Bang, bang, sitting at an angle. Or is that bumper just crooked? I think it's a combination of two things there. You got some weird residue on the windows. That's kind of normal for green light. Green light, I don't know. I love what green light does sometimes, and sometimes green light just makes me a little bit angry. I get it though because they're trying to do stuff at such a low price point, you know, and they got to make some money. Ooh, this is the first time I think we've seen it with the uh, rectangle headlights up here in the Gulf. Uh, I think the ones previous to that have come out are the uh, uh, the round headlights. Shoot, what did I just do with the card thing? Um, so this is a 1980. So this one has the rectangular headlights in the front. So that's kind of cool. I think that's the first one that's come out like that. And uh, it looks pretty good, except for, I mean, we got a little bit of a stance issue on the side. It's, it's again, it's, you know, it's probably fixable. But annoying at the same time. Looks great from this side though. So I'll probably ignore it for a while. And not really do anything to fix it. But uh, looks okay. I don't know. If, yeah, this looks like uh, the white residue stuff looks like it's from the inside of the inside of the plastic, so there's not really anything you're gonna do about that unless you want to drill the car apart, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> you know what they could do? They should just start screwing the cars together. That way people can take them apart and fix them a little bit easier. Sorry, green light. I don't. I don't want to rag on you too hard, but uh, it's just annoying. All right, so here is NHRA Funny Car Peak 2019 Chevy Camaro John Force. So I'm interested to see what this thing's like. It's got a twist tie on it. <clears throat> Speaking of annoying packaging. Let's see if we can just chop that. And let's see here. It should be easy to get that off then. Okay, so this is okay. This is weird, <clears throat> real weird. So guess what, guys? The wheels are plastic. The base is plastic. The whole little underbody thing is plastic. The only thing metal on this is the actual metal body itself. Uh, somebody will have to tell me too is this in 
original auto world now tooling like brand new tooling or is this the same as like that racing champions tooling of a funny car because it looks awful close to the racing champions version and i honestly wouldn't doubt it if it was just based on how this thing looks on the base here but anyway it's kind of cool and i'm just not going to go after all these i don't care i'm not going to go after the ultra res and all that stuff i just wanted one basic one example of the car um i just thought it'd be kind of cool to have i've got like a couple examples of the dragsters now i got an example of a funny car and um i'm done with those all right <clears throat> let me know what you guys think of this it's kind of cool um, but plastic tires, like I said, the back tires are plastic. There's a lot of plastic going on in this, which is not very uh, common for like an auto world premium car. Um, but I get it. People that are fans of, of this will, will enjoy this and it's definitely quality made. I just think, I think it is the racing champions tooling. Uh, and maybe it's not, I don't know. It's not something I collect, so it's not type of racing livery that I like. So that's just, just what it is. All right. Um, what should we do quick? Do you want to pop open Boulevard quick? Yeah, you know what? Let's just do it. Um, um, in no particular order. Here's the Volkswagen T1 panel bus. In Urban Outlaw livery. Looking pretty decent. So this is one of those castings I was kind of after getting all of them and then eventually decided not to get them all because some of them are dumb and like pop culture releases that I really don't care for and I'm just growing up and collecting. I'm not just picking up everything just because it is what it is. So just because it's a bus, I'm not getting the buses anymore unless it's really, really cool looking. Here's a bone shaker. Um, this might end up being the only bone shaker in my collection. I probably do have a couple of basic ones, but... I know it's a fan favorite casting. It's just not a casting that I'm super into. Uh, but this one looks pretty awesome. Yeah, that's definitely cool. I like it. It's just, I know there's some people that collect all the variations of it. And there's a lot, a lot to collect with that one. I'll keep this one in my collection for sure. Just to keep this set complete. Uh, let's do... The 67 Camaro in gold. This thing looks really nice in this color. Yeah, that's cool casting. Uh, this is another casting. You could just go nuts trying to get all of them if you wanted to. Um, I mean, literally, there are probably a couple hundred or like 100, maybe 150 different variations of the 67 Camaro that have come out over the years. I could be wrong, but uh, there's a lot. There's definitely a lot. This looks awesome in gold, though. Yeah, she's a beaut. Definitely digging that. And we got two more to go. I'm saving the best one for last. This is the Nissan Skyline GTR BNR BCNR33. Looks pretty good. It's a, a compliment car to the other one that came out in car culture. This is like an, what, an R34. So. <clears throat> pretty awesome. Not a bad looking vehicle, if I do say so myself, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Not the best release of this, I don't think so far, but uh, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And then lastly, this big beefy 83 Silverado 4x4. This is just a casting that you haven't been able to really get for a while, right? And now that it came out in Boulevard, people hoarded these things. I don't blame them. It's a nice casting, and it's cool. I know people like to take the other 83 Silverados and base swap them with this thing. Lift them up. Put a lift kit on your truck. It look all bad. So, yeah, it looks really nice. It's pretty sweet. Definitely pretty sweet. I do have the, um, I don't know how many of this release there was. I think... Boulevard, there's that Friday Night Lights one. I've got that one. And then there's that Off-Road Series one. I don't know what else has come out in this lifted truck. I'm honestly surprised that they haven't put this out in the RLC at all. 
Um, I think this would be a good release. And I know they're trying to do something way different with the ROC with moving parts and all that stuff, retooling stuff. It's fine. I mean, I think they should still put out some basics every once in a while and sell them for like fourteen ninety nine, back like they used to. Um, I think that might be, uh, might be not a bad move. I don't know. Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. It'd be cool to see a super premium version of this truck, I think. And I think people would definitely dig it. And maybe we haven't. I, maybe I'm just, I don't know about it. I don't know. Could be wrong. Whatever. This thing looks great. All right. So that's going to be it for this episode. I'm not going to open up those two Beatles. That was the only thing left to open. Uh, but we opened up the whole Boulevard set. It is actually in the middle of the day, Saturday. We have our first like day that's over 70 degrees here for spring. So I am going to go fire up the grill and enjoy. You know, I'm in Wisconsin, so we're going to enjoy some brats, right? So we got some brats. And then we got some, uh, make some, uh, some shish kebabs with some t beef tenderloin uh, chunks, which is going to be good. And I'm going to enjoy a few cocktails. That's what I'm going to do with the family. So we're just going to chill out, chill outside, enjoy this nice, beautiful weather. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching. And, uh, oh, yeah, take a look at this Lambo. And have yourself a great day.